Climbing in, dinging and ringing, my Yo. boy Shavo from System of the Down. So are we like live right now? Yeah, this going? is on. All this right. is on right All now, right, brother. Beautiful. Shavo, dude, I am so excited to have you here. Uh, I haven't done like an official recording with you or hung with you, dude, but I've been watching you and and your growth and the family growing oh, man. And, and and your business growing uh and i'm just very excited to have you here man. Oh, yeah man thanks for having me of course man Manifesting. dude well okay there's like a, there's a, lot, there's a lot of things i want to talk about so uh i have my boy shabo here i just want to tell a quick little story uh on how cool you are and how much i respect and love you from a very long time ago oh, because man. let me just but I'll, I'll tell you the story um besides being a massive fan of your of your band and your music uh the first time i saw you was opening up for slayer and clutch in tucson arizona Ooh, 98. yes sir yeah and it was right when the first album was barely coming out and years later we were doing this big interview on sirius uh, at the time it was just serious before we merged with xm, before, XM yeah, yeah. and it was all four of the guys it was your record label it was a bunch of executives and we did this hyped up interview and afterwards everybody was high-fiving and saying oh shit, that was so cool everybody was happy and i didn't hit record oh that's why I don't remember it. <laughs> That's terrible. I didn't hit record. <laughs> Everyone got amped on the interview. What a great interview we did. And so I bad did the not. Ones that oh, <laughs> and, and, and all these executives and all they these people. They play that back. Uh, <laughs> and so, dude, so uh, it was a few weeks later when I admitted to System of a Down backstage at an Ausfest in, Con in Connecticut. That was the and 99 Ausfest, right? No, 99 no, 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 no. It was 2000 something. Oh, it was, okay. it was so in the, it was in the mi middle, middle 2000s. Okay. okay. And uh, um, I went up to you guys and I told you that I didn't record the interview and I remember all of you guys were kind of just disappointed <laughs> and I'm sure it was a good one it was, you know, it, was, then, it, was, it, was it was all crazy. four of them and it was such a it was such a cool interview. we never do four of us interview that's why it's I know. always two and two because we usually talk over each other and we all have a lot to say so we you know we, we decided a long time ago that we should do like two at a time so and, we could get and that's out, why you know? it was so special yeah. but here let me go let me and to my point you, Shabo, you, Shabo, that night, at, 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 right before you guys were about to go on at Ozfest, you got, you said to me, Jose, I got the day off on Monday, and I'm going to bring my family, and I'm going to redo the interview with you. But you've always had our back, man, oh, you know, from day one. So, oh, I mean, my he's God. mentioning a, a 98 tour, which was our first time out of the box, and... You know, that was a big deal for us, you know, to be out there and you know, our whole thing was our clutch. whole thing was to tour more than release anything. You know, our whole first like it was part of our contract. That's what I tried to make. Everyone trying to bust money on us. We were saying, you know, let's you know, I'd rather tour and get like a good foundation instead of like someone knowing us because of a song on the radio. Yep. You know what I'm saying? Well, um, radio was afraid to play your shit. Yeah, back and then, but too. we didn't want it. Yeah, there was no radio that would no. actually like there wasn't Sirius XM back in there was, 98, it was, it was 98, 99. When it yeah. Came out. yeah, so anyhow. And I know you love being on stage, and oh, I know man. you miss not playing Our as goodness. much as you <laughs> want to. Dude. I know, I know. If but I had it my way, we'd be the working band that released an album every two years. And yep. Toured for it and like did what we set out to do, you know? But you got, I mean, you know what I love about you? You go to shows. Yeah. I see, I see you pic posting pictures. You're hanging with the band. Course, you're a fan, man. dude. I am a fan. I was a fan before anything, and I'll always be a fan. And... I'm not gonna change just because my job is this or this became a part of my life, you know? I'm honored and I'm Dude, very grateful. You, and that's, but, that's it. Just, but, I'm just really grateful. Man. Do you know what the cool thing about your music is? That look how ageless it is. Shabo. It is, right? Dude, it's crazy. We're, we're blessed, you guys, man. You guys we're haven't put out anything new in what? Uh, Long time. Man. How many? Do you know <laughs> the years? Time. I can't even, I don't even know right dude, now. Dude, it was 05, so it's like 13, 14 years ago. Yeah, 14 yeah. years ago. But you know what, dude? But everybody is here to see you guys. People are blocking travels from all over the world. I know, dude. There were people at the airport coming from LA to Columbus. Oh, well, I was in that same plane with you. <laughs> I'm glad that that plane didn't like, go down I because like, no, it was a lot of good people. On a that lot plane. of cool people yeah. were on that plane. It was, it was a cool ride. It wouldn't be a show. <laughs> no, it was, was cool though, man. Yeah, it was, and I, yeah. Like I said, man, we're blessed, and I'm honored that we're still relevant even after not being present and you know, like releasing anything new. And so I, I know the guys all kind of have their own, you know, do their own things sort mm -hmm. of musically. What about you? I mean, musically, I have a project that I'm working on. Uh, we're making studio. I mean, we're making music in the studio, you know. Um, it's got a hip-hop vibe, but it's... Oh, shit, I really? Lie. Yeah, but it's... I've always loved hip-hop. Of but course. I, but, I you know, know I'm, my heart's in metal always, and, I'm kind of, and it also kind of like all the guys that are involved are also like metalheads. So... 
It's we good might to mix it up. we might twist it and have an actual band that also can do like straight hip hop, not rock, not rap rock. We're not doing that. We're it's different. It's just we're using elements that I play, but you know you'll hear it. Yeah, no, I that's good. It. So I'm doing that. Um, I've written a lot of songs just in case we do an album or whatever. So I also want to bring up something else, Shabo, that uh, both of us are are huge fans of, and we were fans of this um, and public about it way before it was cool to be public uh -huh. and uh, out about it. Uh, cannabis. Yeah. Cannabis. I am a, <laughs> I'm a lifelong fan and I've been um, you a fan. You're an advocate. For, you yes. Know? For a no, very no. long time. So it's really cool to see, yeah brother, to see how big and accepting it's becoming dude it's great and it's a business yeah and it's real now well finally it's a business because now it's actually being regulated and since i'm actually involved i'm noticing what it takes and all that shit we were smoking some of that shit was really bad for you you know because it wasn't regulated so they would use pesticides they would use anything they can to make that plant look good and get you high Thank God we're at a place where it's regulated, and since I got involved, like I said, I'm making sure our shit's like organic, and if I'm gonna vouch for it, it better be good. You know? have to. So your company is uh, 22 Red. 22 Red. And out of Los Angeles, California. Yes, sir. Where if you're watching this all over the world, I know you're probably saying to yourself, that sucks because I can't get that stuff, and it's coming. Yeah, it's, it's coming. happening. It's, it's coming. happening. We're but right planning, now, uh, you know, on, on expansion and, uh, and of scaling. So. Right now, though, I, you know, it's just like anything else. Remember, I told you about System Over Down. I said I'd rather like tour and have people love us for our band, and not just a song. So, yeah. I kind of want to build more of a brand before we move, before yeah. we then go to different states and like, you know, I just want to build more of this like dude, thing, you know, make it stronger. The foundation's got to be strong. You're doing it, dude. You're doing big time interviews, right? I mean, yeah, you just yeah. did one with like, was it Forbes? Forbes, or? yeah. 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 Forbes. I mean, entrepreneur. That's, uh, yeah. Which is really cool. I mean, and then I realized what I've done with this is what are we doing with system? You know, yeah. like back in the day, like 95, 96, we're, I, I was in there making flyers, like coming up with ways to like have people get it without knowing about it, you know? Yeah. Um, like we we made that logo. I made that logo of the guy, the, the guy tied up, Evan, with system of down on his chest. I mean, we had that before we had a song or we had a show and people were like, what is this? I pass it around at shows. I'd go to like Deftone shows and Corn and I'd pass it around. They'd be like, what is this? So cool. I'm like, don't worry about it. Just yeah. get the name in your head. Yeah. I'm doing the same with 22. Yeah. Got the logo, got the name, and I have some product that I think is really fing good. And I why, swear by it. Why so. do you think there's not more rock dudes uh, in, in the cannabis I business? I have no idea. I'm, I'm, there's so many. A in great question. I, I know you. Great question. You, Everyone in hip hop, I feel like, has a, has a strain or a brand. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> you know? And you were in Be Real Smokebox? While ago. From Cypress Hill. While ago. That's my homie. Yeah, he's, yeah he's, of course. He's a good dude. Man. I know. That's my friend. And, um, I know you guys are close. Yeah, we hang out when we're not doing anything. You know, he's uh, he's invited me like hockey games. We don't see, you know, kings together. Are you, do you have a sport favorite sports team? I'm not a big sports guy, but of course, uh, you know, I like what's LA, you know? I'm all about LA. So. Yeah, hell yeah. And I, but I'm not a big sports guy. I never was. But I, you know, I've played in like school and stuff. What, like were you, what was your sports, Chavo? I played basketball. You're a basketball dude? I was a little bit of soccer, but not a lot, you know? And you still have skills right now? At the uh, no, I skateboarded after. I, once I started skateboarding, that was where I put my effort. I've seen you skate. I've you seen know? you on your Instagram. You still, are you, but you're I not still scared? love it, man. I still love it, but I can't do it anymore. Yeah, like, I can't do tricks because I don't. You don't want to mess I'm up I'm older, and if I fall, I'll probably break something. <laughs> I'm broken my hip. You know? Oh, man, and skateboarding. Just in, just in case we got a show coming. <laughs> so. And how does it feel playing these shows, dude? Like, honestly. Honestly, oh I mean, man, I just wish it was more than two shows, you know. I'm, like <laughs> I said, I'm a, I was a road dog, and I like love that, and um, it's like, it's the best part of being in a rock band, yeah. In my opinion, I mean the energy from the fans that love you so much. Yeah, it's great when I when I go up there, time stands still, you know. And yeah, it's, and it's gonna, and I'm looking forward. Dude, really I looking love, forward to this. I love it. Are, are your kids into this music at all? Oh yeah, Shabba? they oh, are. Yeah, they they trip, they trip, and they're into they, it. They both take it. All the, the both boys take guitar lessons. Five and seven. Oh wow! Yeah, they're, they're starting early, man. And, and, and they I have a passion for it. They really do. They can't wait. Like Fridays, they have lessons. They're like, we love Fridays. Like, why? Because there's no school the next day. No, because we got guitar lessons. Oh, and that's dope, right? you know? dude! So, I love that. I man, love that. you know, I was talking to uh, one of Bruce Dickinson's sons. Uh -huh. uh, he has two sons that sing in metal bands, Shabo. Oh wow! And I was talking. Dude, that dude's a fucking. Yeah. He's done so much, and he, you know, he's and, and, his and kids he's now. Too, are now yeah, his kids. like imagine if your kids like were in in metal bands. Or, I mean, if they up, wanted yeah. to, they love that. And that there's Winston that, from Parkway Drive. Oh, yeah. They're a great band. Jeez. What were you gonna say? I don't remember. Uh, no, about <laughs> about your kids. If they wanted, I said to yeah, be if they wanted to do it, and they got to do it. Man, that's great. 
you know. But yeah. I would ne- I just don't like I wouldn't want them to do it only because I did it and that's what I did, you know. Yeah, life, no, you know? No, no, no. And no, I also no. don't want them to like be in my shadow ever, you know. That's not yep. cool either. I want them to have their own thing and do it. I just you know what it is? It's like give them the options and have them make the choices. Yep. You know what I mean? That's just how it is. And you know, the, the best thing you can do is, you know, let them know how to be and see what they do and like, you know, teach them the right things by the time they're 18 and they should get it. Dude, you know? you're a great dad. I love how much you love your family, dude. I, and people say the yeah. same shit to me about what I do with my kids and my family. I always involve them on the radio. Before I let you go though, uh-huh. I know you guys are playing the main stage. You're closing out yes, this yes. huge festival. Dude, it's I see you're getting in the gym, brother. Oh yeah. I yeah. Was, I worked out this morning. I saw, I, I see get, all get the, the blood going. Yeah, yeah. dude, you're okay. hitting it hard. We should hit, we should hit. When we're, let me when know. We're I see you go. I, I, I like to um, medicate before I hit the Oh, yeah, so I do it all the time Some like that. And hit it. Yeah. Pleasure talking hey, to dude, you, man. Shabo from System of a Down. Oh, yeah. uh, it's a pleasure to hang with you, dude.